31 commissioners to constitute state executive council. Cross River State Governor Senator Basio to inspect Calabar International Convention Center ahead of investment summit. Details in just a moment. Good evening, it's nice to have you on NTA Calabar News. I am Paul Abel. The Cross River State Governor Senator Basio Tu has sworn in 31 commissioners that will constitute the State Executive Council. The Governor tasked the new commissioners to bring their wealth of experience and expertise to bear in the transformation of the state to the most vibrant and prosperous economy. Justina Itum reports. Similarly, Governor Basio Tu of Cross River State has assured to revive and give some government facilities a facelift to restore the tourism capacity of the state and woo investors. The governor said this while inspecting the Calabar International Convention Center ahead of the 2023 International Corporation and Investment Summit slated for the 30th to the 31st of August 2023. Justin Aitim once again can place the report. The Calabar International Convention Center is one of the government's facilities which suffered destruction during the NSAS protest. Governor Otu is inspecting the facility in preparation for hosting of international cooperation and investment summits. This is one of the legacy buildings inherited which we must protect for the next generation. To building this back is not a very easy one. But we have to get these buildings sorted. At the moment, I think emergency works are going on to make sure that we're able to use this building by month end. The governor also visited the cultural center complex, which he pledged to remodel to woo investors and boost tourism. This is one of the deficits that uh, uh, had put us in the map. We are going to make sure we restore it back to what it was. And then... Uh, this particular location that we are standing will also uh, make sure that it is upgraded so that we can actually attract visitors. The inspection is meant to give the governor first-hand knowledge of the functionality and condition of facilities and infrastructure in Calabar Metropolis. In Calabar, Justina Etam, NTA News. Those are the stories trending on our news this day. For more and detailed version of the news, please join us every day on NCA Calabar News at 7. I am Paul Abel. Have a wonderful day.